in the paranormal justice system. Supernaturally based offenses are considered especially heinous. In Orlando, Florida, the worst of these offenders are pursued by an elite squad known as the Supernatural Victims Unit. These are their stories. I don't understand what the problem here is. The problem is you're allowing a vampire to feed on you. It's just the embrace. It's out of love, and we're destined to be with one another. What are you talking about? He's obviously just going to feed on you until you're dead. He wouldn't do that. He's just a lonely, beautiful soul. He's a forsaken creature of the night just looking for someone to love. Right, right. So you're going to try to have a meaningful relationship with a monster that eats people. You wouldn't understand. No, no I wouldn't. He's not what he appears to be. He's a killer. No, he only kills animals and drinks the blood that he buys from distributors, okay? He only embraces me. So what's the big deal? I just give them what they want. Well, she seems to think that you're in love with her. They all think that. So you admit you're using her? Well, technically, she's using me. I'm just helping her live out a fantasy. After Twilight hit big, all the little tween girls want to screw vampires. So, I just give them what they want. I'm such a tormented man. Loved by none, misunderstood by all. <laughs> Chicks dig that. And you get to play hide and suck with all the underage girls. I don't go for underage girls. Just the ones old enough to make stupid decisions on their own. And I'm sure you don't glamour them at all. I don't have to. They've already made up their minds. We'll see. How did you two meet? I told you, on Facebook. I wanted to meet him because I, I instantly felt his pain. It was destiny. Right. So, did you message him first, or did he message you first? I don't remember. It, it feels so long ago. Oh. How long have you two been together? <laughs> two wonderful weeks. Ah. I... I... I can't take the stupid anymore. Neither could I. Is she gonna flip on him or what? Even if she does know he did anything, there's no way in hell she'd turn him in. They're soulmates, apparently. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to be soulmates with something that doesn't have a soul. Mm. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Evening, Mick. So what brings you out to the boonies this time of night? You guys, why are you investigating this? The cops did not call us in. Well, our new uh, Jean Grey girl over there tipped us off to it. Why wasn't that in her transfer application, by the way? It doesn't matter. You should not be investigating things unless you are called in. I don't see why it's a problem. I mean, you'd think that a vampire-related murder would be something worth investigating. Except she didn't die from a vampire bite. What was it? Suffocation? Broken neck? You know, has as well as I do, that any vampire worth his salt can fake that death just as easily. It was a suicide. Are you sure? Yes. She overdosed on pills. We found her in the alley because she took the entire bottle right after she left the pharmacy. She must have thought she was going to make it home, but they did her in and she didn't make it. Yeah, Look, but that's a... 
I know you have a different opinion on vampires than most people do, but that does not make a case. Y you need to let these two go, or the vampire rights activist groups are going to be all over us. <sighs> don't give me that Look, shit. Look, I don't want to hear it, Mick. You've got your orders, the same as I do. Maybe if you didn't spend all your time arguing, you'd still be with us instead of dealing with this crap. I'm sorry, miss. You and your boyfriend can go. <laughs> this is bullshit and you know it. It doesn't matter what I think. And it matters even less what you think to the people in charge. You assured that with your attitude. Back off the case. You have plenty of other things to do, I'm sure. Stay with him. But we're in love and it's going to end beautifully. That was so not science. So what now? Now? We're gonna do what we do best. Stay out of the main office's way? No, that's what we do second best. Disobeying is what we do best. <laughs> What do we know about this guy? Since he became a vampire, Jake Folsom hasn't committed any infractions against the rules of conduct laws and has attended each of his scheduled checkups to renew his bite imprints the entire time since he was fired. <laughs> a regular choir boy. Yeah, which is why I don't like it. Alright, keep digging, Doc. Every single public move this kid has made since becoming a vampire, I want to know about it. Even check before he was turned. And what should we do? <laughs> I want you and the rookie to go and shake down the sire who turned him. <laughs> My favorite part of the job. Yeah. And don't feel obligated to be social about it either. No, you don't. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm not saying a word. You have no cause to stake me. Hey, you need a change of tune, pal. Besides, who said anything about stakes? Now, what has he been up to? He's been killing. Gets off from the fangirls. Said he likes to show them what real vampires can do to sweet, innocent ones like them. I told him he shouldn't get mixed up in that crap. She doesn't listen. How has he been killing the victims, though? They haven't died from their bites or from physical attacks. I really don't know. But you haven't tried to stop him, did you? I just try and mind my own business. Well, as his sire, it is your responsibility to keep track of him. Look, I've never harmed anyone. Just let me go, okay? Bottom line is, because of you, a girl is dead. And another might be soon. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to leave town in the next 24 hours, or I will stake you up to a tree and wait for the sun to come up. Got it? Yeah. Uh, bit harsh? Nah. Trust me, I did him a favor. If Mick found out he knew anything about what Jake was up to, that vampire would not unlive to see another moonrise. Well, I'd hate to sit. Ah! God! Another vision? Oh, yeah. Big time. Drink. Hold this, but don't pull the wires out. Right. So, any luck? Found out he is responsible. We're not sure how yet. She had another vision of Jake and Kelly, though. He's gonna kill her. We better roll out before he... Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't figured out the specifics yet. Well, what else could it be? We obviously know he's doing this. We gotta get to her before she ends up dead, too. Are you sure we want to roll out before we get all the info? Look, 
We know for sure that he's responsible for these deaths, so we gotta get to it and stop it at the source before it's too late. Meanwhile, you stay here, get your drink on, and figure out all the specifics just in case we're wrong. Craig, that new thing we were talking about, is it in the car? Yes. Good. Fix that door! Maybe you should have thought about that before you started murdering girls.